Hello everybody out there in Toyland. Um, my mother, oh, got my haircut, shaved it off and it's growing back, but yeah. Um, quick update to me. But my mom has been gone for about three weeks and she has finally came home last night around like one o'clock in the morning. She has been gone to Indiana to help take care of my great grandmother. Um, but while she was up there, she managed to go around to some yard sales and antique stores and whatnot. And at a yard sale, she scored some major, uh, a good find. Um, she, uh, a lady had beat her there and scooped up most of them, but for some reason she left these. I guess they just weren't up to her quality or something. But sucks for her and good for us, I guess. Um, first off we have a, um, 1960, a uh, 60s skipper. Um, she, I put her in her original skipper bathing suit. Uh, unfortunately, at some point in time, uh, it looks like a dog has gotten a hold to her and gnawed her up a little. But other than that, she's still fine. I mean, if anyone knows if that can be fixed, you know, hit me up. But her hair is good, uncut. She has great complexion. She cleaned up brilliantly. And, um, she's still great. And also, uh, another skipper. Same year. Um, not chewed up and at perfect condition. Bend. She's, you know, hair is great. Didn't even need to brush it. Well, I brushed it a little. I didn't need to wash it or anything. Um, they came naked. They came with a lot of uh, a pile of clothes which have already been cleaned and put away in what is known, I guess now, as the Barbie clothes trunk. Which is what my other vintage Barbie's clothes are in. The big red trunk. But, um, yes, another skipper. She is a darker skin toned than the first one, but they're made during the same year. Okay. And, um, I guess, you know, the piece de resistance. A 1958 Barbie with bubble haircut. She came naked too. But I found some nice vintage shoes. And this is a modern dress. Velcro. But I just did not really have another dress that would, you know, fit, you know, fit her right. Or what I guess you can call her personality, maybe. But this one, you know, fit pretty well. The shoes match pretty well with it. And um, it goes good with her eye makeup. But she is a really good find. And she cleaned up nicely. Her legs still bend nicely. And um, this is not a reproduction. I've looked for reproduction marks and it says 1958 and that is the only date on this doll. These are my mother's. These are not mine. These are my mother's. I just wanted to show you what she found. But um, usually I get all the clothes because if my mom gets a Barbie that's naked or something, usually it comes to my room and I clean it up. And usually I end up putting clothes on it anyway. So. Either way, the clothes tend to come to my room anyways. But those are her finds. Oh, and she also found this one. I have not identified it yet. But it's like a rubber body and everything. Does not have any markings. Oh, hold on. Made in West Germany. So, this is a German toy and it has some little markings on their feet, if you can see that. Um, but yeah, this is her original outfit. And she's in pretty good condition. She has the metal in her body showing and uh, it's starting to show in a few places. 
that's okay. And um, she's still very nice. She kind of looks like a flapper with a little flapper with her bob haircut and everything. Now my mom did manage to get me something. Um, she got me a live doll. Now this is one of the older ones. This is a 2009 live doll. Um, I can tell because you know the body is a little looser around the waist and she has white panties on and the more modern ones don't have that and um but still she's very nice she has she has a brown and green with green highlight wig but it was an awful mess so I took it off and put it on the mannequin and I went and washed it and um yeah and I'll take pictures of her later but I do not have one like her, which is a plus. So, um, she's going to join the family. <laughs> My mom kept her in the car for a while. So whenever she was, like, you know, waiting at the doctor's or somewhere for my grandma, um, she would sit there in the car. Or if she went outside to smoke or something, she'd sit there in the car and play with her. And um, I thought that was, like, really funny. She, she she liked her, so um, you know, it's gonna be really fun. And I don't like her. She's got brilliant green eyes, and she comes with this really nice outfit, which I do not have any of these clothes or these shoes or anything, so that's good. Um, I didn't even know these were come. These were out in two thousand nine. That shows how much I paid attention to the modern fashion dolls. I was still collecting antique dolls at the time, antique and some vintage, so, and I didn't really care about modern fashion dolls, so, um, but this is great, I mean, she's very nice, I like her, and that's what she found me, so, but yeah, um, I'm just happy to have my mom back, um, she was really tired. And for some reason right now she's cleaning. I have no idea why. Um, thinking about taking her out for dinner tonight because she's been gone for so long. But um, just happy to have her home. Happy she made it home safe and sound. She drove all the way to Indiana. So, but, but yeah, that's some of her finds. She had more, but these are the doll-related ones. So, um, I hope y'all like these. And I'm going to go put these in her display cases in the living room. Where they will be displayed for everybody to see. So, um, I hope you like them. Tell me what you think. And, um, I hope y'all have a great day out there in Toyland. Bye.